This is Giganotosaurus, a giant theropod that was about 40 to 43 feet long and weighed about 17,600 pounds. It's funny because Giganotosaurus was definitely one of the first mods that I covered on this channel. But let's go through these subspecies right quick. This is Carolini, which is a 10% bleed. Our next one is plus 5% armor. He's got a little bit of a dewlap here, his throaty pouch, and he's much thicker here. Love the spines on top. Our next one is plus 3% attack. The spines are much smaller. You can see the head shape is changed and the dewlap is still a little bit there. Our next one is plus 5% stamina. It has no spikes, a much more square head no do lap the legs seem to be a little bit longer our next one is plus three percent speed it has the spikes again the head shape is a bit more triangular here our neck is a little bit longer and it looks a little bit smaller overall like much skinnier here's another one that's plus three percent speed which you can tell wow it just looks like a naked chicken kind of <laughs> but it is much much smaller in the face here very narrow you can kind of see the whole outline of the jaw here our next one is plus 50 percent bone break regen you can see he has no top lip he's got spikes on the back the spines is very high up just in general he's very skinny and then back to our 10 percent bleed let's check out the female skin right quick oh it was way darker i actually like that a lot like i like the male skin but this is pretty cool to look at too all right let's go through the calls right quick first we have broadcast <laughs> That is really good. I like that a lot. Two call. It's a bit of a rumble. I thought it was going to start off like a yawn at first. Threaten. Sounds good, but it's a little too close to the broadcast for me. I wish it was a little bit more aggressive. Four call. Oh, that's a good four call. That's a scared Giga right there. Talk. A nice little rumble. I think this is Shake. Yeah, okay. It's nice. Uh, scratch. Oh, stretch. Okay. Oh, it does both feed too. That's nice. Uh, sniff. Not sniff. Kind of just like a rumble communication. Uh, what's this one? Ooh, I like that one. So just another mystery sound. Okay, then look around. Wow, looking at him head on is just kind of trippy. He looks pretty curious which I like about this emote. I like these a lot for the most part. And then um, our invite is gonna be the same as our two call. All right, and here is the baby model right here. I can't really get far enough away from his face because he's just so huge. But this is the model right here. I think it looks pretty decent. This head is just really, really big. But uh, let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have broadcast. <laughs> His head is just very blurry because of how close the camera is. Too cool. I like it. It has a little squeak there. Threaten. It's very similar to the broadcast. Poor call. Another squeak. Talk. Okay. Shake. That's a good shake. Stretch. There we go. Both feet. Big stretch. Here's our mystery one sound. Mm hmm. Our mystery two sound. Very similar to the T Rex's deep rumble noise. And then look around. This is one very serious predator that we have here. There's that curiosity. And the invite is the same as the two call. Let's go through some of the animations right quick. First we have walk. It's very stompy. Look at that. Like he's definitely picking up his feet and 
flattening them down and then the run same stompiness but it looks like the stride is just a little bit longer all right let's see if we have a jump we do baby giga has a jump very cute let's see if we can sit you plop down we got our curled tail here not bad sleep you lay over on the side he's so cute he's very cute and then our get up oh you see that he throws himself up to sit up there we go all the way all right and here is our adult model he is freaking huge his head just still have the same thing with the camera where it's hard to be really close to him his body is very long uh let's go through the animations right quick here's our adult walk still kind of stompy but a lot less obvious with the adult and it looks a lot smoother here's our run not bad at all i like the run actually it looks like he's trying to run and then we don't have a jump but we have our sit there you go curled tail again Ooh, i didn't see the little tail tap before our sleep over on our side the tail kind of disappears into the ground a little bit that might just be because it's not entirely flat and then our get up I love how it throws itself to get up. There we go. Now we're going to do our precise movement. Here's our turn in place. It's pretty decent. It's not like super, super fast, but it's more than fast enough for an apex dinosaur. Here's our back. Very slow to our left. Cha-cha slide to our right. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing pretty good with this. Do our crouch. There we go. The crouch idle is pretty nice. The crouch walk. Slow, but he covers a lot of distance, so that's fine. I think it slides a little bit. You can see there at the feet. But it's not bad at all. It looks really good. Here is our disturbed burrow animation. We're just clearing out the dirt with our feet here very nice simple straightforward and here's our eating animation first we're going to take a piece oh i guess we can pick up the whole thing let's see if we can get the eating animation here he steps on it rips a chunk out fantastic oh the bloody mouth oh that is awesome all right here is our drinking animation all the way down a lot of quick sips there you go that's terrifying <laughs> sarko's just staring this in the face here's our swim animation very slow he's using his feet and his tail a little bit let's see our speed swim that's decent actually speed for like an apex swimming all right let's go through the skins right quick this is the default male skin next one we have up is desert pug then spotted marine cranium lionfish vista bog walker Sinomian, dragoon chakon mapu crown desert beast jester Ooh, joker skin sandstone terracotta tito zeb albino melanistic and leopard i like this joker one right here it's not realistic but you know i like joker related stuff so and let's check out the abilities we have two head slots right here so let's see first up we have bite which is causes medium damage then we have charge bleed bite charge up the attack and inflict bleed based on how long it's held flesh tearing bite tears a chunk of flesh off a victim giving low food on consumption large sauropods get a massive debuff to their bleed heal rate but tyrannosaurs amphibiosaurs hadrosaurs and ampliosaurs have half the effect and then sanguine snap giga uses its quick jaws to deliver a snap that increases bleed and damage bit by bit every hit then for senses we have lone hunter gain 10 percent increased attack damage when not in a group then we have southern tyrant gain 15 percent armor in exchange for 10 percent speed triggers only when in combat so it's only really gonna be something when you get attacked or you're attacking somebody else in our front limb we have just claw attack and deals average damage and low bleed metabolism we have hyper carnivore only able to eat meat food drains much slower we have gourmand can eat meat fish carrion and bones increases hunger capacity high food drain low thirst drain scavenger 
can eat meat carrion and bones fast food and water drain excludes fish basically for our hide we have lightweight scales increases speed by five percent and decreases turn speed by 15 percent which is a lot i mean he's pretty fast but that's still a lot resilient scales increases bleed and venom healing by 30 percent and then slick scales unable to be grappled or pounced which i think you're mostly going to want to use when you're younger i don't think it'll be too much of an issue as an apex but we'll see legs we have two slots we have left stomp a heavy stomp the left foot must be standing still to use and the same for a right stomp back limb we have stout which takes 30 percent less knockback and 25 percent increased bone break healing really good if you're gonna fight rexes or anything else that does bone break so maybe ano and then we also have enraged charge charge forward in a line causing damage to anything you hit then for tail we have balance which gives you five percent turn radius i wish it was a little bit more then we have tail attack an attack that causes light damage then for our voice we have raging bellow increases attack energy by 15 percent and increases 45 percent knockback resistance that's a lot all right we're gonna go through the ability animations right quick first up we have bite Ooh, that is long range and it's pretty fast I like that a lot. I really like the animation for it. Next, we have Sanguine Snap, which is a little bit slower, but the cooldown is way quicker. This is kind of like Raptor Strikes, where each bite gets stronger. It's supposed to do more damage. Next, we have Charged Bleed Bite. It revs up. There you go. Opening the mouth wide, leaning back. And you bite that off and it has kind of like a medium cooldown next we have flesh tearing bite like you see here which not only gives you food from sword paws and other creatures but it also increases the amount of bleed you take so every successive bite you do that has bleed is going to rack up very quickly after that we have claw attack which is just kind of like a forward scratch thing. I'm not sure how useful that would be because you don't have that great of a reach and you're pretty tall as a dinosaur already. So it doesn't go that low. So I wouldn't say it's very useful against short creatures. Next, we have our left stomp. And there we go. It's actually not slow. It's a lot faster than like Rex's and Spinal's, which is very good if you want to throw people off same thing for a right stomp pretty good i love the animation for that it looks way more natural next we have tail attack the only one that kind of looks awkward because the rest of the tail is pretty stiff but tail attacks always have been kind of awkward here's it again left right i think it does pretty decent damage next we have charge where you're really stomping and running down people definitely has a long cooldown so choose when to use that wisely and last but not least is raging bellow here yeah look at that you even get to see like a little vfx there basically a little indicator that you're charging up which is great i've always thought how the titans needed that but you know that's just my opinion but uh yeah that's about it for giga it is pleasantly good i really like it a lot I have a lot of fun playing as this guy. He's so much fun. Definitely try him out. Try him out against the other Giga that we already have. Divine Beast did a fantastic job. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to check out my other videos. I cover a lot of different mods. I also cover other games that aren't Path of Titans that you may be interested in. Again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.